click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. On the 10th of Ziqad, in the 10th Hijrah, Allah the Almighty issued a decree to the Prophet, instructing him to gather all the people and prepare for a spiritual journey. This Hajj was unique, being the first and last one for the Holy Prophet after the conquest of Mecca. The news spread rapidly, and Lady Fatima Zahra, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, and the Prophet's wives all reached the Shajra Mosque. Soon, the largest caravan in the history of Islam was ready to embark on the journey to Mecca. Imam Ali, who had been preaching in Yemen, immediately left for Mecca upon hearing the order for Hajj. Before entering Mecca, the Holy Prophet gave a new directive that those who had not brought a sacrifice should change their Hajj to Umrah and leave the state of Ihram. Some people objected to this order, marking the first instance of dissent towards the Holy Prophet's commands. During their three-day stay in Mecca, the Holy Prophet began conveying the message revealed by the Lord from his tent. He proclaimed the status of Imam Ali, stating that Imam Ali was his brother, his successor, and held a position similar to what Hazrat Harun did to Hazrat Musa, except that there is no Prophet after Prophet Muhammad. On the second day in Arafah, the people around the Holy Prophet were surprised when he invited them to ask any questions. Many inquired about his successor, to which he responded that Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib would be the best among them and is his chosen successor. The Hajj caravan, consisting of thousands of pilgrims from Mecca, Yemen and Medina, completed the pilgrimage and began their journey back home. At the place of Ghadir Khum, the angel Jibrail once again brought God's revelation, declaring Imam Ali's salutation as the commander of the faithful. The congregation gathered in the hot desert of Ghadir Khum, and a pulpit was made from camel saddles for the Holy Prophet's farewell sermon. After Zohar prayer, the Prophet ascended the pulpit, accompanied by Imam Ali. 120,000 pilgrims eagerly awaited the sermon. Addressing the people, the Holy Prophet emphasized the importance of his message and then asked, Am I not the best and most exalted of you all? The crowd answered with a yes. He then asked them to repeat what he said and the desert echoed with the voices of the people. O oh, Ali, we pledge allegiance to your Vilaya with our hearts and souls. However, some appeared hesitant. To clear any doubts, the Holy Prophet placed his Imama on Imam Ali's head and proclaimed in a loud voice, Man kunto mawla fahaza aliyun mawla. The long sermon came to an end and a special tent was set up for the Holy Prophet and Hazrat Ali. People approached the tent in groups, offering blessings and pledging allegiance to Imam Ali. The women on the other side of the curtain also pledged allegiance to Amirul Mu'mineen by placing their hands in the water vessel. The allegiance continued for three days. While most embraced the decision wholeheartedly, some, like Haris bin Oman, were discontented. Haris approached the Prophet's tent and questioned whether the announcement of Imam Ali's succession was made by the Prophet or Allah. Despite the Prophet's clear answer, Haris challenged him, requesting a sign from Allah. However, soon after he left the tent, a stone fell from the sky, affirming the divine nature of the proclamation.